Hi everyone, good morning. Uh, it's Sunday morning. I'm in Central Park. Uh, it's a little bit freezing, but fresh and amazing, and I wouldn't miss this walk for a world. <clears throat> uh, still having some problems with my voice, but getting better anyway. Um, yesterday I went to this amazing event, as you know, with Seth Godin. I was volunteering, and uh, it was really amazing experience and I'm glad I was a volunteer, not an actual participant because the um, quality of involvement was set with people who were there is completely different than if I were to be a, just a participant because you're also in charge, you're organizing processes, you, uh, you're taking charge of people, it, uh, you lead people, it teaches you a lot much more than just being a participant, uh, no matter how active you are. Uh, that experience also made me think about a lot of things, because that does that, you know, he makes people think about deep stuff, stuff that matters to them. Though there is some dog probably doesn't like me too much talking, but anyway. <laughs> so, uh, and what exactly did he make me think, mostly? about my own shit, like the stuff that I was not willing, willing to work with or to deal with, like uh, not uh, recognizing that I'm not successful at some areas that are important to me, like my career or my finances, and I need to do something about it. And the way to do it is to do my thing, to show up every day fully, not just playing with that, not just 10%, but 100% or as close to it as I can conceive. And I made adjustment to my plan, to what I'm going to do, and to questions I'm going to ask myself on a daily basis. Like, for example, if I'm about to do some project or some task or something to improve my career or my personal growth, then I should ask myself, am I really doing my best? Am I just pretending to do my best? Am I really like, um, no, sorry, I got to be prepared to deal with my own bullshit, you know, when I pretend like I'm doing stuff, not actually pretend, but actually do 100%, ask myself the question, am I, do, am I really doing myself, or attempting at least to do myself, or am I just playing to fail, am I just say, setting myself for failure, knowing you, knowing that, you know, on some conscious level, we always know when we like bullshitting ourselves and doing just enough, not what we really are capable of, so yeah, he made me think about a lot and uh, I'm definitely changing what I'm going to do this week you know the way I communicate with people I talk with people I talk to myself I'm not gonna be my babysitter anymore nor am I going to be babysitting anyone like if you have a goal and if you're not ready to commit with actions and sacrifices to that goal then uh, you know it's not there is no excuse it's you it's fucking you and if you're still like delusional about that then well you know don't complain about the results you're gonna get in your life that's the thing i i realized that i was you know soft on myself and on other people i was you know trying to come up with excuses for myself why am i not achieving what i want to achieve and for other people like when i train someone you know and they not um they're not achieving their goals uh i was you know trying to um, comfort them and tell them, you know, or it's okay, you know, we're all kind of like in this thing together, we are not perfect and we fail, well, we do, but uh, we also fail, you know, we gotta commit to it, like if we decided to change something, and a lot of us just don't, we just find excuses, and that's a shitty place to be in. You know, find excuses and then being frustrated because we know we found excuses and that's why we ultimately didn't achieve what we wanted to achieve. So yeah, no babysitting anymore for myself or anyone. And yes, I'm an intense person. Yes, like I'm not, you know, this... I don't know, I am intense. You know, I know my own bullshit. I know when somebody's bullshitting themselves and I'm gonna, you know, show people that and show myself that... You know, this is where you, you know, there is bullshit and you got to work on it and do your best to achieve what you want to achieve, to change your life or make an impact you want to make. So that's what he made me think about. And 
made uh, I made changes to my plan, you know, to my fitness modeling plan, to my career, to a lot of things. It's going to be a lot of uncomfortable stuff, but that's what I got to do to learn. Um, another thing, very important thing, that he made me realize that I'm not working on one of the things that's really important to me too, is uh, making this world better by not accepting I have my own shit world. What it means is a lot of times, you know, we see a problem that other person has or there is a problem in the world that needs to be fixed and we're like, well, I got my own shit to deal with at the moment, so it's not my problem. I don't want to deal with it or uh, I don't have to do that right now. First, I got to fix myself. Well, no, if there is a problem and you can fix it at the moment and you then do it. It doesn't matter if you have time or you don't have time. We all have time when there is something important. Example, yesterday, 7 a.m., I think it was even 7, 6.30 or something, and I was uh, coming out of train station. There was no one but some weird-looking guy uh, mumbling something. And my first reaction, I didn't want to deal with that. I just wanted to go through the train station as fast as possible. You know, I didn't really care much, like, what he was mumbling. And then, like, somehow I overheard what he was actually saying. He actually just wanted to get in in the station and take a train. And I had an unlimited metro card that I wasn't going to use for, you know, another, like, seven, eight hours. And it would uh, make totally no difference for me to help that person, but it's gonna make a huge difference to him. Yeah, I mean, I helped him. I, I let him in the train, of course. And then I realized... That's probably I do often. I just see problems that I could easily solve and I don't because I'm in my own head. You know, I have my own shit to deal with. And that's wrong. And that's what I hate about this world, you know. And anyway, as you can see, it's like the thing that I care about a lot. And. <coughs> Anyway, if I wanted to change, I gotta change it in myself, and that's the message. Anyway, that's what I wanted to say, and uh, sorry for getting like all emotional. I am that person, you know, I am intense, I have all that in me, and I'm just blocking it, and... <sighs> Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for watching and supporting and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do something about it because I have ideas. I have all the resources I'll ever need and I, I, I'm giving a lot of gifts and talents and I'm not using them and a lot of us don't and that's why the world is fucked, fucked up so often, honestly. We just got our own shit to do, right? Anyway. A beautiful Sunday, it's a beautiful day anyway, you know. <sighs> Emotions are good as long as you let them flow through you and do something with it, with that energy that emotions give us. I love you guys. I really do. It's an amazing day, even if it's freezing, it's still amazing. And take a walk outside and, and do something good. You know, when you see it, do it. It doesn't have to be big. But for another person, it can make a huge difference. I love you guys. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, today from the gym. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>